the last decade, the Western Balkans have been a key hub for the trafficking of illicit goods. Drugs, weapons and people are trafficked from east to west and vice versa. Across the region, organized crime has also become closely linked to corruption. It has been described as a joint venture between state structures and criminal actors. So far, many responses that have tried to address the long-term and structural damage of organized crime in the region have been unsuccessful. Instead of unilateral responses from state actors, the phenomenon requires a more holistic approach, one that also includes the participation of civil society. But there are many risks associated with confronting organized crime, especially in smaller communities. Personal security, reputational and legal risks, and the challenge of making projects sustainable are some of the key concerns that civil society actors face. Civil society are often the first to respond to and counter the negative consequences of corruption and organized crime. They work on issues related to drug use, youth development, post-prison reintegration, media freedom and marginalized groups. However, many civil society organizations across the Western Balkans lack capacity, resources and support. In such an environment, it is imperative to strengthen civil society and build community resilience against organized crime and corruption. At the Global Initiative, we follow a three-step approach to achieve this. First, we map and identify local actors, change agents and community initiatives. Second, we aim to organize and facilitate community dialogues to build capacities in the ground. And third, we build from the knowledge and lessons learned from communities to replicate them in other parts of the world, hence building resilient networks. Putting this strategy into action, the Global Initiative launched the Resilience Fund in 2019. The fund works as a grant-making mechanism that finances, nurtures and assists local civil society in their responses to organized crime. Since its inception, we have supported over 80 projects from more than 65 organizations in 32 countries. Over the last six months, we work with 13 dedicated organizations across the Western Balkans. My name is Marcela Sechenari and I'm a project coordinator at Flora Youth Center, which is a local NGO located in Flora, south of Albania. We work to empower the community, especially young people, Many young people choose to leave the country, and very few of them do come back. And the youth that stay here often are tempted to engage in illicit behaviors to make a living. We help them address their issues, achieve small victories, so we can spark the hope that things can be improved. Albania is considered internationally a hot point for organized crime. The project, Fighting Organized Crime and Supporting Youth Development in Dibra, implemented by Together for Life, is focused on raising public awareness on the dangers of organized crime, as well as the role and responsibility of other stakeholders and community. Lacking of opportunities is one of the reasons why young people join organized crime. Hence, we had different meetings with local successful business present young women and girls with job opportunities in their area and how to become successful through efforts and honest means. Zovem se Maja i moj dio posla u stručnom timu Omladinskog centra dr. Branislav Lolić na projektu Prevencija maloljetničke delikvencije, osmišljavanje kreativnih radionica i kanalisanje pozitivne energije prema djeci, adolescentima, roditeljima, starateljima i institucijama i naravno lokalnim zajednicama. U cilju razvijanja otpornosti na faktore rizika koji dolaze iz socijalne sredine. Činjenica je da za sve aktivnosti je potrebna pomoć, 
Resilience fond, odnosno fond otpornosti, nam je svojom donacijom pružio veliku pomoć da organizujemo ekipu, da započnemo i sprovodimo ove aktivnosti dalje. Klub Masa trenutno realizira projekat pod nazivom Ujedinjeni protiv kriminala na temu huliganizma s ciljem podizanja svijesti kod ljudi. Ovim projektom smo planirali online radionice za srednjoškolce na temu huliganizma. Mi se najprije zahvaljujemo globalnoj inicijativi za podršku u ovom projektu jer bez njihove podrške ne bi bilo kvalitetne realizacije ovog projekta. My name is Nemanja Nestorović and I work as a deputy director at Community Building Mitrica. The organization itself is a, as I mentioned, grassroots organization that deals in the fields of uh, peace building and reconciliation. And our role as a civil society organization is to facilitate and initiate contact and dialogue between the communities here in Mitrovica region, but not only uh, on a local, but rather on the regional and uh, national level. The change lies within each and every community member in each individual living in this city, regardless of the background. My name is Tenan Bardai and I work in uh, Surivizionit. The project that we implemented uh, were mainly in the uh, in environment in uh, democratization or good governments, in human rights, with specific uh, uh, aim in, in children's rights, women and community rights. Even that we do different projects, we still do the monitoring of governments to see if there are any uh, corruption cases or any involvement of uh, local officials in uh, criminal aspect or any, any money laundering or anything else. We try to see which, uh, which are things that can help to motivate whistleblowers inside the different institutions, even in the public or private sector. The Association of Professional Journalists of Montenegro was founded four years ago by reporters from several local media. Reasons for the establishment of DPNCG were related to the need to strengthen journalist professionalism, their capacities for objective and credible reporting, and create a safe environment for their work. At the moment, we are implementing several different activities. We organize workshops and trainings for our members. One of the last was how to report cases of human trafficking, which we organized through a project supported by the Global Initiative. Mladin for Montenegro is a non-profit national organization that works for young people but also with young people. Project Raise Your Voice Against Irregularities is focused on the municipality of Nikšić and we educated young journalists to uh, write about some irregularities in local municipality. We wrote four stories already that are covering some criminal or corruption. This support from Global Initiative through Resilience Funds were very, very good for us because we uh, finally uh, could write about some things that are problems in local community and not depending on funds that are from governments. EuroThink Center for European Strategies is established in 2002 as a training center and later a think tank that contributes to Europeanization of Macedonian society. As an organization, we'll, we try to contribute to open and transparent institutions. We deal with the citizens' safety and security as one of our primary values, as well as we believe in active and engaged citizens in multiple spheres. With the help of the Global Initiative, Eurothink has been mapping illegal logging. We've managed to capture the attention of more than 700,000 citizens of Macedonia, North Macedonia, and make the authorities commit themselves publicly toward tackling the problem of illegal logging. My name is Misha Popovic. I'm a board member of the a platform of civil society organizations against corruption, a platform of 17 organizations working in the area of 
uh, fight against corruption, rule of law, good governance. Lately, with the Resilience Fund, we have been working on uh, the issue of asset recovery. Asset recovery is, uh, is an important part in regaining trust of citizens because it is part of understanding that institutions really do work and try to recover funds which have been gained illicitly. Scoop Macedonia is a non-governmental organization that aims to promote, support and produce investigative uh, uh, journalism. It's focused in producing the documentaries and investigative stories that have uh, as focus uh, organized crime and corruption uh, here in Macedonia and beyond uh, the borders. Our mission is to uh, have a, a more uh, transparent uh, institutions, to, to have a democratic, real democratic values and uh, to improve our everyday life. Neostart is for the last 10 years dealing in uh, researching, development and maintaining programs for post-penal assistance for people after serving the jail sentence and especially for young people from juvenile home and educational detention correctional facilities. Uh, just now we're looking at the results of uh, the project we started with uh, Resilience Fund and a Global Initiative and for the first time, we can say that this is how the program should look like. Through this program uh, and through this funding, we actually could, at least for a short while, manage to give them that basic needs covered for a first few months that they can then work on themselves and really change. And we're, we're looking at that right now and just we're amazed. In first uh, two or three years, uh, our main activities was against the dictator regime of Slobodan Milosevic. So our main activities was on fight against organized crime and the fight for the democracy in Serbia. After the democratic changes in the year 2000, uh, Protecta decided to develop more fields of interest. Protecta is implementing the project United and Empowered Community Against Loan Sharking with the idea of drawing the public attention to this type of organized crime for the first time in Serbia and with the idea of straightening the resilience of citizens and community to the problems of loan sharking. And so far we have provided advisory assistance to over 50 citizens. The Resilience Fund supports grassroots solutions, working with local actors and making sure that community voices are heard. Our contribution is not only financial. We help to develop local projects, grow their networks, share expertise and provide international support for their initiatives. The best way to make change in the community is from within the community. The stories that you have just heard show how civil society can make a difference. And this is why the Resilience Fund and the Global Initiative are dedicated to helping them in their fight against organized crime and corruption and to building safer communities. <laughs>